Anna Halpine, CEO of the FEM Foundation, joins us from New York. You're also the founder of World Youth Alliance. That's the group that promotes the dignity of person. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lauren. Happy to be here. Tell me about the FEM Foundation and what does that have to do with Planned Parenthood or women's clinics? FEM was founded five years ago to provide what we think is best in care, research, education, and treatment for women. We realized that there was too much politicization of women's health and not enough actual health care, that the science has moved forward, but the care and treatment had not. And so many women are prescribed contraception for acne, for mood swings, for irregular bleeding, for pain, but the actual problem is never diagnosed and treated. And so FEM offers a full ecosystem to provide education, healthcare, and treatment for women. So I noticed that you have a new app and it allows women to track their health on a daily basis and then get feedback. Explain that. Why is this beneficial? Well, we're excited about this new release. It's the first app that provides daily feedback to women about what's happening in their body with their physiology and their hormones as well as feedback about the health goals they want to achieve, understanding if their body is healthy, understanding their fertility, and helping them to achieve or avoid pregnancy. What the app is able to do is really put a lot of the new science we know into action so that women can track their symptoms, track their observations, and then have the information and feedback they need to know if everything is healthy and if everything is fine or to be linked with health educators and medical providers for more help and treatment if we can identify that something needs to be looked at or there's some underlying problem. You know, even Planned Parenthood's research arm, the Guttmacher Institute, said that two-thirds of women use contraception for health reasons, just as you said. And you are focusing on the underlying causes, usually of hormonal imbalances. And is that, that, that seems to be a better approach. I think it's good news for women. The science has moved forward. We now understand more about the reproductive endocrinology. So instead of just managing symptoms, which is what Plum Parenthood and others are doing with contraception for all these problems women experience, we can actually now diagnose and treat. The name of the app before we go? It's the FEM app, F-E-M-M, -M, FEM Women's Health. It's free in the App Store. It's currently available for iPhone, and we're hoping to program our Android in January. Anna Halpine, CEO of the FEM Foundation, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.